In this video, we're going to do a real brief introduction and overview of the Scheme programming language, as well as an overview of how to work with Dr. Racket. Now in Dr. Racket, the very first thing you want to do is to select Scheme as your default language. So if you select Language and then choose Language, then Show Details. At the very bottom left, you should see Automatic Hash Lang Line. Select Always Use the Same Lang Line and then type Hash Lang Scheme. The reason for this is Racket includes several different programming languages. A lot of those languages are compatible with Scheme and will work, but they will either allow things that aren't part of the Scheme language or they will not work the same way as Scheme will, or some of them are just incompatible with Scheme completely. So if you do this, it'll force Dr. Racket to always choose your code as Scheme code. In Scheme, comments begin with a semicolon. And if you want to run your code, you're going to click Run in Dr. Racket. And that will evaluate your program. So that Run button is right here. If you get in an endless loop, there's also a Stop button that you can press. In the Scheme language, there are some literals, such as Hello World. which is a string literal. 10 is an integer literal. 3.14 is a real literal. And we can also have symbols, which begin with a quote. And there's a few other types, but we'll get to those later on. We will also discuss the distinction between strings and symbols. So another thing about Scheme that you need to be aware of is that Scheme uses prefix notation. The operator comes first. It also surrounds every expression that is going to be evaluated in parentheses, and we call that a Scheme form. So if I say plus 1, 2, then that says add 1 and 2. And you may say, well, it didn't do 1 and 2. Well, I need to run the code first. And so when I run this, notice all these literals evaluate to themselves. And then this, since it's a scheme form, it'll apply this operator to these operands. I can also do more complicated expressions. So I can say the square root of the sum of the product of 4 and 4 and the product of 3 and 3. So that says give me the square root of 3 times 3 plus 4 times 4. And if I run that, you can see I get the result here. I can also use the bottom window of Dr. Racket to evaluate single lines. So I can say plus 3, 10, and that returns 13, or divided 743 by 9. And notice that gives me 82 and 5 ninths. Notice the fractional type that exists in Scheme. However, when I run this, that erases the REPL, which stands for Read, Evaluate, Print Loop, because it evaluates what's in this code and gives me a new environment. Now, Scheme doesn't have variables, but I can associate names with values, like so. So if I say times 2x, you may say, well, that didn't do anything. Again, we have to run. But notice, here I have... 10, which is 2 times 5. And x is now defined to be 5 here in my REPL. If I say y, it'll say that y is undefined. So I can define y down here. And now, plus, or let's say times xy is 50, because y is now 10. However, if I run my code again, y is again going to be undefined because I defined it in the REPL. But x will be defined because I ran it in the code. So it runs all this code and evaluates what's here in the REPL, but anything that was there previously gets erased. I can also define functions in Scheme. And that's what we'll pretty much be doing the entire time. So I use define to associate a name. And we're going to call this half it. And then I need to define associate this name to a function. So now I need to define a function. And to create a function, we use lambda. 
we tell it what the parameters are of the function, and then we give it the body of the function. So now, if I run this, nothing happened, but I do now have this function, half it, so if I half 17, I get 8.5. If I just type half it, notice it says that that's a procedure. We'll deal with this more in the next few modules, but it turns out that functions are first class members in scheme, so we can treat them just like any other value. We can pass them to functions and we can return them as return values from functions. So one last thing about scheme that's important to grasp, and this is what we'll focus on in module two. We have what's called a list, which I can create using the list operator. And to run this, that just outputs a list. So I can define a list and I'll call it LST to be list one, two, three, four. And now when I type LST in the REPL, the name LST is associated with the result of this evaluation, which is the list one, two, three, four. I can also define a list with a quote. And I'll put the names of the list here so that they'll evaluate when I run. So here you see, here's list one, here's list two. And the quote here, that tells Scheme, don't evaluate what's here. If I just do this in the REPL, it tells me that this isn't a procedure. It was expecting a procedure, I got one. Because remember, Scheme is a prefix notation. So what it was expecting was something like plus two, three, four not one, two, three, four. One's not an operation. And also we do have an append method. And here I've created a list two different ways, one using the list operation, one using a quote to say, leave this alone. And when I run the code, you can see that it appends the two lists together. One other nice feature about Dr. Racket if I don't know where a function comes from, it'll tell me. So where does square root come from? Well, that's actually built into the language. Notice I get an arrow to where it's defined. Well, what if I call half it here? Notice if I mouse over, it now points to where that's actually defined. And where this is really helpful is something like this. Here I've defined list two. And that shows me where the definition is. And of course, these are simple examples, so it's not really earth shattering the information I'm getting. But you can imagine as your program gets longer, it's really helpful to see where some name is being defined. So that's a quick introduction to Scheme and Dr. Racket, and we'll do a lot more with, with Scheme in the next few modules.